This is Unwind Your Mind Back to God Written by David Hofmeister And read by Tarana Singh In today's episode we continue with the transfer of training with book 3 In chapter 3 this is section 1 Last and final part Time, Space and Personhood Part 6 Friend Won't the father pull your hands away? David, no way, no way. It cannot happen. That would prove the son is helpless and needs to be rescued. It would prove that perfection needs some help to be perfection. God would not be himself if he reached down into air and said, That is awful. That is real. (laughs) Your shield is real. I will help you out. The father knows his son is perfect. That is why it has to be voluntary and totally from within. You come to the point of looking at the shield and knowing that it is not you and that you do not need it. The thought that salvation is in the future has to be questioned, as does linear time cause and effect, ordering of thought and judgment. It is not complicated. It is not like working through college requirements, studying each category and then regurgitating it back. I will get this thing down on judgment and ordering of thought and then I will work on special relationships. It is about an experience. Even seeming to read this book is symbolic. Friend, will it help us get clear on how to take this shield down? David, the Holy Spirit will. And if the blue book is a symbol of the Holy Spirit's thinking in a form that you can understand, it can be helpful. It is like you are turning to the light in your mind And this is what seems to be happening on the screen. It seems to be that this person is reading this book and coming to these sessions. These are just images out on the screen. That is the way it seems to be happening. Really, it is just your intention, your burning desire to turn to the light. It is not caused by this book. The course dropping into your lap was not a magical thing. It is an effect. Just like this is an effect, pointing around the room to specifics. And this is an effect. Everything in the world is an effect. There is nothing special about the course or about these conversations. As if there is one form or technique that is better than another. Let's look at these last two paragraphs. Yet this illusion has a cause, which, though untrue, must be already in your mind. And this illusion is but one effect that it engenders, and one form in which its outcome is perceived. This interval in time when retribution is perceived to be the form in which the good appears, is but one aspect of the little space that lies between you, unforgiven still. Be not content with future happiness. It has no meaning and is not your just reward. For you have cause for freedom now. What profits freedom in a prisoner's form? Why should deliverance be disguised as death? Delay is senseless, and the reasoning that would maintain effects of present cause must be delayed until a future time, is merely a denial of the fact that consequence and cause must come as one. Text chapter 26, section 8, paras 8 and 9. There it is again, the statement that cause and effect are together. 
any kind of reasoning that says salvation is coming in the future is a denial of the fact that consequence and cause must come as one enlightenment must be simultaneous it must be instantaneous that is what it means to recognize something that is already here it is not like enlightenment is something new and that somehow if you read the course enough read the course enough or do enough good deeds you will come to a point when you have finally filled the cup the cup is full the cup is overflowing this very instant the only choice is whether you will recognize and accept it if there still seems to be some vagueness if you are thinking that it sounds simple but does not really seem to be simple then there is something to question you still must believe in personhood and preferences you still must believe in linear time in a past where real things happened and in a future where more real things are going to happen if you believe any of that you are just denying the awareness that is available right now you are denying enlightenment salvation is immediate when objections come up in your mind like concerns about debt or your wife or your kids but 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 remember that trust would settle every problem now text chapter 26 section 8 para 2 line up with the holy spirit just allow it all to be turned upside down and fly in the face of everything you ever believed be content and listen to the holy spirit he will direct you it is not like you have to deal with all these problems first so you can then be open to the holy spirit the holy spirit is available right now and he will dictate he will give you what to say and do so to speak that is comforting what could you not accept if you but knew that everything that happens all events past present and to come are gently planned by one whose only purpose is your good workbook lesson 135 once you accept his plan as the one function that you would fulfill there will be nothing else the holy spirit will not arrange for you without your effort he will go before you making straight your path and leaving in your way no stones to trip on and no obstacles to bar your way nothing you need will be denied you not one seeming difficulty but will melt away before you reach it you need take thought for nothing careless of everything except the only purpose that you would fulfill text chapter 20 section 4 para 8 you cannot have it spelt out any clearer than that that is cause for rejoicing right now not in the future be not content with future happiness text chapter 26 section 8 para 9 friend it seems that a helpful question to ask myself is what is it that i want if what i want is what i get then i want to be very clear and focused about what i want i can trust that the mind gets exactly what it wants david as we go deeper you will observe your thoughts as the words come out of your mouth you will notice where the thinking is coming from there is a sense of monitoring like when you say oh never mind as soon as you hear the first few words in a sentence you develop a quick sense of monitoring of not condoning the mind wandering 
you are watching the thoughts rather than sleepwalking. Catching your words, like that means you are watching your thoughts. Unplugging the ego. Right there, in the thought, never mind, is the awareness that there is no point in finishing the sentence because it is pointless. The awareness that you must not be ready or that you have investment in the false belief system if you do not have the experience of peace now, that is good. That gives you impetus to question. If you have a sense that salvation is available right now and yet there is something that is holding you back from experiencing it right now, then wow! Look not to time but to the little space between you still to be delivered from. And do not let it be disguised as time and so preserved because its form is changed and what it cannot be recognized. The Holy Spirit's purpose now is yours. Should not his happiness be yours as well? Text chapter 26, section 8, para 9. And do not let it be disguised as time. It seems as if all problems within this world have to do with time. Whether it is paying off debts, or resolving an issue with your wife, or moving towards becoming a mystic. It seems like there is always some time involved. There is so much strain and upset in thinking about how things will work out in the future, or how they have not worked out in the past. When you are upset, look not to time. Do not let time disguise it or be the preserver of it. Be open to the present correction that is always available. There seems to be a tracing back only because there is a belief in linear time. But the whole idea of tracing back falls away when you can see just the falsity of the ego. That is where the constant joy and peace come in. You do not bite the bait first and then have to trace it back. You no longer bite the bait in the first place. End of section 1 of chapter 3 of book 3